Hi, I'm Mary Kinningham. I was very honored last week when I got a text from Kate, Kate Northrop, about giving a talk about sustainable fitness and weight management for the Team Northrop Jumpstart this week. And I thought instead of doing um, a talk on the telephone, I wanted to create a video so then I can demonstrate some of the exercises that I have been doing that have been very helpful to me. So I'm, I'll tell you a little bit about myself first. I'm a personal trainer. I became a trainer in my early 50s and I've been doing it for like, I don't know, seven, eight years now. I created a, an outdoor boot camp, which I love. We're outdoors in New Jersey all year long, as long as it's safe. And I was a competitive runner in the past, so I spent many years running, 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 running with ice packs on my back because it was so, too much impact for me. So I knew at some point I had to change things up because um, this running just was no longer serving me. So I started to get focused on total body fitness and I feel like I've created a program that has been phenomenal, of course. So it's, I have women from 40 to 70 and I have had a couple good guys along the way as well. So I've kind of tweaked things along the way to make it work for everybody. So exercise, you know, as you get older, as you want quality of life and you need to figure out how to exercise so you're able to be strong and healthy. And this year I, um, I was gardening. I want to be able to garden. I had six yards of mulch delivered and the plane flew overhead. I had six yards of mulch delivered and I was able to do that without you know hurting my back. And I also got an email from one of my clients in my classes that she had all this mulch delivered and this year she could do it without hurting her back. So if you want to go into the gardening business, come see me first. So, and you know, I have grandkids. I want to be able to run around with my grandkids. So all of that is just quality of life and being strong and healthy. And the other thing you want to stay out of a nursing home, you have to work on your squats because so many people end up in nursing home because they're not able to go to the bathroom by themselves. They're not able to get up and down off the toilet. So it's really important to keep those quadricep muscles strong and healthy. So the opposite of that, you know, if you're sedentary, it's just going to build on itself. It's just going to get worse. As you age, you lose your mus some muscle mass anyway. But if you don't exercise, it's just going to be worse. And so what happens is that you replace your muscles with fat. So that's not a good thing. And then you'll notice that, you know, you might be the same weight but your clothes aren't fitting because the fat takes up more space than the muscle. So it's really important to find exercises that you love to do. Maybe, uh, you know, join a group, come to my class. You know, it's very social as well. Um, I know many of you Team Northrop people are into yoga or dance, which is, you know, that's great too. But what I wanted to demonstrate today was um, a HIIT workout which is high intensity intensity interval training and the foundation training. So this is something, even if, you know, if you're a dancer or you go to yoga, this is something you could add to your week to bump things up. So the HIIT training I love because you can do it in a short period of time. It's great for overall fitness. It's great for your cardiovascular health, for blood pressure and cholesterol. Um, it's, it's a fat burning, it's a fat burning, 12 minutes or whatever you're going to do so you start to reduce the belly fat um, and you burn more calories than a traditional workout and it's so much more effective than just going out for a 20 minute run it's harder but it's more effective so you get more bang for your buck there so it's really the icing on the cake and what else the foundation oh the foundation training okay here we go show and tell this is the foundation training. This man has changed my life. This is Dr. Eric Goodman. He's a chiropractor and he's de developed a series of exercises that really strengthen the low back. He was in chiropractic school and he hurt his back and he was scheduled for um, surgery and he's like, I can't have surgery. It's like against my religion. So he came up with a series of exercises to really strengthen that low back. So two years ago, I 
I didn't blow out my SI joint, but I did something to my SI joint that was debilitating. I had pain down the side of my leg, I had numbness around my knee, and I went to the chiropractor and he's like, Mary, how old are you? You shouldn't be doing the workouts you're doing. You know, maybe you should be doing something else, take a walk around the block, but that's certainly not what I wanted to hear, so I found another chiropractor. I did massage, I did physical therapy, I took drugs, you know, it all worked to some extent, but it wasn't until I started to incorporate this foundation training into my day and into my workout to manage the back. And so I feel like I'm so much better and I'm able to incorporate his exercises into the boot camp that I do. So check out Eric Goodman. Okay, so I'm gonna read the back, with this sentence off the back of the book. Radically redefine your core. Foundation training shifts the focus from the front of your body to the back by strengthening the full posterior chain and correcting core movement patterns You will maximize power Flexibility and endurance and say goodbye to back pain. So who doesn't want that? So Eric Goodman Google him So now here comes the fun portion of the program. I'm going to do um, a hit workout I'm just gonna do four exercises one time, and then if you want to do more, you certainly can do more. And you have to turn the camera this way. Thank you. There you go. Okay, so first, obviously, you should warm up, you know, take a walk around the block, and uh, here we'll do a few windmills. Just kind of warm up a little bit. Oh, get rid of our knees. And obviously, if, if you haven't been exercising, don't start out with hit training start out by just walking. Get out and walk every day until you feel like you're ready to bump things up a little bit. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to do 30 seconds on and then 30 seconds rest. So the first thing we're going to do is run in place. So try to get those knees up. I have my mat and run in place. Go to the side. Keep your back straight. Suck in that belly button. I feel like my knees are high, but when I watch this in the video, they're not so high, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> you do the best you can. Now, obviously, if this is too much for you, you can always just start, just walk. Okay, 30 seconds. So the next thing we're gonna do is burpees. Turn sideways. Turn sideways. Okay. You know, maybe I'll move. That's, <laughs> sorry, people. There. That's better. Okay. Burpees. So you're in. You jump out. In. Stand up. I'm going to move this a little bit. In. Out. In. Jump. In. Out. In. Jump. In. Make sure you're landing softly. Come down on the bent knee. So it doesn't have so much impact. Okay, 30 seconds. So 30 seconds rest. And then we go into squats. So, so this gets your heart rate up quickly, and that's when you get into that fat burn, which isn't so important. And the hit also is great for insulin sensitivity. So it's all good. It doesn't take that much time. Seven seconds. So you, get, you, you can do a squat, or I'm going to do a squat jump. Same thing. You land with a bended knee, soft knee. You don't want to come down like that. That's when all that jarring impact goes through you. The impact is not terrible. You know, this is a short period of time. Build those healthy bones. to feel this pretty quickly. Okay. And the last exercises we're going to do is mount climbers. So the other thing with the squat I wanted to show you. Sometimes people, I say do a squat, they'll come like this. So you don't want to do that. That is too much pressure on your knees. You take your hips back. Your hips go back. That's your squat. Like you're sitting in a chair. 
So you don't want to come forward like that. Keep you out of the nursing home. All right. Now we're going to do our mountain climbers. Obviously, the faster you go, the more benefit you're going to get, the harder it is. Nine seconds. Okay, so that was the hit. Now obviously you can do that two, three, four more rounds. But that's one round, that's a great start. So what I wanted to do next is the foundation training. I end, like I said, I end each one of my workouts with this. So, here we go. So you're going to have your feet a good hip width apart, your thumbs are out. What you're going to do, turn off your watch. Just push those hips back. And as, as soon as you do that, you can feel those muscles along here tightening up. So don't be afraid of that. Those muscles are getting tighter, they're becoming stronger. That's what you want, those tight muscles to support that spine. So, your hips are back, thumbs out, chest up. You bring your arms out in front, and you bring those hips back even further. Take a couple deep breaths, arms up tall. Take a few more deep breaths. So this whole time that low back is engaged and it's getting stronger. Now you're gonna go down to the ground, push your hips, push your hamstrings back. Just take a couple deep breaths. really good for your hamstrings. And you slowly come back up. We're going to go into a lunge. So right foot forward, left foot back. Second that belly button, you're reaching up. So all of this is super tight. You're up on the toes in the back. Make sure your back foot is straight. Slowly, five times, up and down. And you're going to come forward. Keep the hips going back. Going five times this way. And you're just going to take your fingers like six inches over and reach out. Keep the hips back, your chest up. And you take three deep breaths here. And you really feel this in the right glute. And that coming down the hamstring. Okay, back to center. You're going to go on the other side. Left foot forward, right foot back. Reach up, suck in that belly button. On your toes in the back, make sure it's straight up and down. Okay. You're going to come forward five times. Okay, take your fingertips like six inches over. Keep the hips back. Take three deep breaths. Okay, there's so much more of the foundation training, so that's just a little taste of it. One other thing I wanted to leave you with is two months ago, I really started to increase the fat in my diet with coconut oil in my coffee and avocado in my shakes, and it really helped me to get off the grains. And I still eat grains sometimes, but I don't really care about them as much. It just has really taken away the cravings. And it didn't happen right away, but within I don't know, six weeks or so, I lost a few pounds. And my, my little menopausal belly is shrinking. So what I want to encourage everybody to do is just stick with this jumpstart, stick with the program, because it'll work in the long run. So don't get frustrated if things don't shift right away. Sometimes it takes a little time. So take your supplements, eat well, and do your hit and foundation training. Thank you so much.